Hi guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday over here in the Sterling household and I love Sundays because they're just honestly the best day of the week. So since it is Sunday, today is all about prepping for the week ahead of me. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of meal prepping, some grocery shopping, um, a little bit of Sunday dinner with my dad and then my friends all moved back into college and they go to a college that's like 30 minutes away from me. So after dinner, I'm just gonna go hang out with them for a little bit. Guys, by the way, I got Gymshark leggings, okay? I was sleeping on this brand for so long. I've wanted to get a pair of leggings for a while, but I just never did. They're really, really amazing and super comfortable. Also, this little crop top is from Zoffel. I'm gonna be doing a haul on that very soon. I am so flippin' hungry. It is 10, 26 in the morning and I have yet to eat. The thought right now of eating like a healthy breakfast of like eggs and vegetables honestly sounds disgusting so i'm not gonna do that i want oatmeal i used to eat like the most unhealthy oatmeal ever and i've toned it back a little bit and now i eat healthier oatmeal you can still have oatmeal in the morning when it's gonna be really bland and you might not like it but i'll like show you how to jazz it up a little bit so that you do kind of like it for the oats in the bowl like, I don't know how hungry you are. All you're gonna fill this with is water. Throw it in the microwave for three minutes. Once you're looking like this, you're ready to go. So I take some peanut butter. This is the Santa Cruz Organic, and I like this because of the ingredients. All it has is peanuts and 1% or less of salt. And then you're gonna take like one spoonful about this size, plop it on in there. This is what's gonna give you taste. You're gonna want about like one tablespoon of peanut butter. Mix it all around, get it in all the oats. Peanut butter is also gonna give you a good source of protein and healthy fats. And then I just have these blueberries that I'm trying to finish up, so I'm just gonna dump these on there. If this is your first time eating oatmeal that's like healthy, that isn't you know loaded with like milks or sugars or anything, try adding a little bit of cinnamon to this and it'll make it taste a little more flavorful. I'm just gonna throw a little makeup on so I don't look like so dead all day. I'm gonna use face and body in a hot minute. Let's use this today. This is going to be the first year of my whole life, well, since kindergarten, that I haven't gone to a first day of school. It's gonna be super weird for me to not like go back to school, but honestly, all it makes me wanna do is like go and buy back to school supplies. And I know a lot of you guys are in college and a lot of you guys have asked me like how to not gain weight in college, how to avoid the freshman 15, the sophomore 30, like all that stuff. Um, so I will do a video that's probably gonna come out like next week, like how to stay healthy in college and stuff. I just did such a full outfit change. I'm also like high ponying my hair. I was like, it's so hard styling light gray leggings. Does anyone else like have that issue? I don't know, but I think I figured out like an okay outfit. So um, my sports bra, it's a gray Lulu sports bra from Lulu. And the shirt is also Lululemon. I just tied it in the back. It's like crisscrossy and cute. And then um, leggings are Gymshark. And like this pink band is throwing me off. Like it's just hard to kind of style with it. Um, whatever. And then my shoes are Adidas Ultra Boost. I really want to go get a matcha green tea latte at Starbucks, but I don't know. So I caved. I went to Starbucks. I got a matcha green tea latte with coconut milk. It's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend to get it iced, of course. So I'm just going to go to the farmer's market. But right now I'm at Ulta. I have to get an eyebrow pencil and a mascara. But we're going to go to the farmer's market. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I don't know what it is. It must be the fact that it's like Sunday or something, but I just want to literally do nothing. I just want to sleep, put a movie on, and do nothing. Honestly, if I really wanted to, I could do that, but I know that I'm not going to do that because I shouldn't do that and because I'm gonna want food later in the week, especially I'm spinning so much this week. So I set myself up with a ton of spin classes this week and I'm still doing Sarah's ebook, Her Sweat It to Shred It. So I'm just doing a lot of working out. So I know I'm gonna want a whole bunch of food already made for me when I'm getting back from my workouts and I want good nutritious food. I don't eat the right stuff all the time. I especially don't get my protein in. And yeah, also you guys are gonna see that I eat chicken now, I eat chicken. And yesterday I had a steak and um, the day before, and I also eat salmon. So um, I know a lot of you guys aren't going to agree with that and I'm really sorry that you don't approve of what I put into my body. 
um, and that it's not the most ethical thing. I just find that for me, it's what works the best and it's what makes me feel the best. And um, when I eat meat, I just feel really whole again. Like I was talking to my friend Danielle about this. She was saying this too and I totally agree. Like I just feel much more whole and put together when I have meat in my foods. Um, so I've been eating meat again and I know a lot of you guys aren't gonna agree with that. I know there's gonna be videos made and um, I'm sorry, but it's just how I have been eating for the past couple of months and I've been feeling a lot better. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys what I got just now at the farmer's market. It's only like a couple of things. It's a farmer's market. I got bananas. I have those two bananas over there, but I'm going to freeze them for my smoothies. Um, heads of broccoli. I eat at least one head a day, so I get so much broccoli all the time. Um, two avocados, strawberries, and blueberries. That's it. This was $10. So when it comes to meal prepping for me, I'm not going to make like actual meals. I'm just making things that take a long time to make. Um, and then I'll make them now so that I have them in advance. And then when it's time to eat, I'll make the actual like little details of the dish. All that I'm going to be, um, doing is roasting up some chicken, which I've been defrosting for like a couple of hours now. Um, I'm gonna make a lot of rice, which is the easiest thing ever to meal prep. You just put it in a rice cooker, let it do its thing, then put it in a, a Tupperware. And then I'm going to roast a ton of vegetables and have those all on hand. chicken you guys can see that I like ran out of space so I'm literally using like red whatever um, all the chicken are ready to go and I'm just waiting for the oven I heated it up to 400 degrees and it's just getting up to 400 then I'm gonna stick them in for about 40 minutes and then after that I'll check them but I have my rice cooking away over here I'm gonna start chopping up some veggies I'm just gonna move this over to the side so that we don't get any cross-contamination I'm also just gonna quickly wipe down my counter I am a freak about cross-contaminations so like literally a huge fear of mine is literally getting like sick from meat so I'm just going to wipe everything down wash my hands a bit and get ready on the veggies So today I'm gonna to be roasting up four sweet potatoes all of this broccoli cuz this one's on its last little leg so we need to use this one up uh, the remainder of chickpeas that I have um, I'll use most of this bro uh, carrots. I'm gonna leave a good amount for just like raw carrots, but I'm gonna, you know, use a good amount. And the rest of these Brussels sprouts. The rice is over here cooking away. You guys can probably hear it stirring a little bit. For the oven, I'm just gonna keep it on 400. I'm just gonna put this tray on the lower. Um, I normally roast my veggies at 475, but I'm just gonna do it at 400 and then cook them on your side for about 25 minutes instead of 15 minutes and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, and then after this, I'm pretty much done the meal prep once everything is good to go. I don't play no games with you I wanna lay with you I wanna sing to you girl. Sweet, sweet melody Sweet, sweet melody And you know I don't play no games with you I wanna lay with you I wanna sing to you girl. Sweet, sweet melody 
sweet melody Sweet, sweet melody Baby, I apologize Let me harmonize Right now, fuck those other guys They don't wanna see you shine me As far as I can see Your beauty rings like the sun And I'm just soaking in your rays Till I burn I hope, I hope you coming close I need, need another dose I'm almost E, I'm running low Feel like a fiend, I gotta know Why won't you pick, pick up the phone? Need to hear your voice They talking crazy, shit is crazy But fuck all the noise And you know I don't play no games with you I wanna lay with you I wanna sing to you, girl Sweet, sweet melody Sweet, sweet melody yeah. You know I don't play no games with you I wanna lay with you I wanna sing to you Girl, sweet, sweet melody Sweet, sweet melody veggies in the oven, chicken in the oven. The chicken has nine more minutes left and I set a timer of 25 minutes. But in the meantime, the rice has finished up. Please be careful when you're dealing with rice cookers. Just because it doesn't look hot doesn't mean it's not because it is. It was boiling and it is hot. So please be careful. But the rice looks perfectly done. So I am just going to set it in a Tupperware. And this was so easy. This took me no time. You just put it in the rice cooker and forget about it. If you don't have a rice cooker, you can do this on your stove too. Just get a big pot. And the measurements is every one cup of rice to every two and one quarter cups of water. That's for brown rice anyway. But check the package. Sometimes different rice is different. So just make sure. All right, so chicken is out of the oven. Looks pretty good to me. I had a little nibble. It's pretty good. So now this just goes away. Got the rice, got the chicken. Let's check on the veggies. So I put it in for about 12 minutes, but it's only been 10, but they are looking good to me. So I'm gonna take them out. Ooh, baby. This is truly the best part of meal prep day is all these veggies being ready. And uh, there you go. Kitchen after an afternoon full of meal prepping. And now I have veggies, chicken, and rice ready to go for the week. And um, yeah, it didn't really take me that much time. It was more so just like waiting around for things to be done and like checking them or whatever. The actual time that I spent like in the kitchen like prepping was maybe like 30, 40 minutes or so. So really not that much time and then you can just like pass time doing dishes or like put a movie on or whatever you want. But my battery's at 4% so I'm gonna charge this but I'm actually going to honey grow with my friend Ty. Um, him and I like both don't go to college so we just like hang out when everyone else is at college. So I'm gonna go to Honey Girl, I'm gonna get some fruit there. But I'm gonna bring my phone to vlog, but I'm like sorry that I'm switching from my camera to my phone, but that's what I'm doing. Oops, I have sweet potato underneath my phone, I gotta get that out. And then um, I am going to my dad's for Sunday din, and then I'm gonna go to my friend's college, so I'll vlog that. But it's all gonna be on my phone, I'm really excited about that. So we just went to Honey Girl, and there's like this new gym around here, it's called Lifetime Fitness. And I've been wanting to tour it literally since it opened, but I just never like got around to it. But now Ty and I are gonna tour it and it's literally like insane. It's like a huge mansion. I'll show you like the the tour. So this is like the lobby when you walk in and whatever. So there's like a spa over here and then this is a cafe. And I'm guessing that's like where you go to get everything, but we're just sitting <laughs> in this waiting room right now. Charged this, so now I have some battery left, but Guys, that gym that I just toured was like incredible. I was like blown away by that gym. So I think I'm gonna join it. It was like seriously amazing. It was so amazing. And you guys get better get excited because it's gonna be in so many vlogs. It was seriously like, oh my God, like I'm so excited to go to the gym tomorrow. I wanted to get up and like go at 4 a.m. to join because there's like a deal going on tomorrow at the membership. So if I if I did it today versus tomorrow, I would save like over $150 if I did it tomorrow. So I'm waiting till tomorrow to join. But 
Um, I'm so excited. Like, I literally wanted to join at, like, 4 a.m. tomorrow morning so I could go to the 5.45 a.m. yoga. But I don't think I'm allowed to join until, like, 8 a.m. Because that's, like, when they come in. To, so then you can, like, join, like, the people that you have to, like, join with. They don't come in until, like, 8 a.m. So I guess I'm not doing 5.45 yoga tomorrow. Which is honestly really sad to me. I'm so excited to go. And, like, the it was seriously amazing. I'll give you guys a tour of it when I join and stuff. And I'm just going to immediately start recording my workout so everyone knows I'm just, like, that workout girl that, like, records her shit. And, like, honestly, it was, like, the coolest gym ever. I'm so excited to go. Also, now I know why I never use MAC Face and Body anymore. It makes me look like a greasy, oily mess. Like, I don't have oily skin, but this just gets, like, greasy on me. Never again will I use MAC Face and Body You ever. guys will never believe me. I brought this camera to my dad's house last night. By the way, it's an entire day later. Brought this camera to my parents' house last night, my mom and dad's. And I forgot it here. I like came over for Sunday dinner, literally forgot it. So annoyed that I did that because I wanted to show you guys what I had for Sunday din, but I brought it over, literally forgot that I even brought it here. So I forgot to vlog Sunday din. And then I like was on my way to my friend's college. And then I was like, wait, I don't have my camera. And I didn't want to vlog it on my phone. So I forgot my camera. And then I was like, you know what, it's gonna be fine. Like I'm just gonna go pick it up like early this morning and I'll make up for it and I'll like show them what, like what I'm eating for breakfast and whatever all this stuff. It's 1 p.m. right now. So then I'm like getting ready to, you know, I'm gonna get up for my workout at like 6 a.m. I'm gonna go do sweaty shredder. Like it's gonna be a great day. And then after that, I'm gonna go join this new gym and then I'm gonna show, I'm gonna pick up the camera. And then after that, I'm gonna show what I'm eating for breakfast and I'll just like make up for, you know, forgetting Sunday din in my vlog last night. I think this is my dad. Hi, Dad. What's up? What's up? So then this morning, it's like 4.30. I wake up and I'm like, oh, should I try to like get up now? Like just start my day now, like may as well. And I was like, no, I sh I'm gonna regret that. I'm working out a ton tonight. I'm doing three classes tonight, so I'm probably gonna wanna sleep. So I go back to sleep. I wake up at 5.15 to my phone buzzing, just like a text message or whatever. It's from my friend Kat. And she's like, are you up right now? Like it's an emergency, like I need you, whatever, all this stuff. So long story short, I had to drive back to the college that I was at, which is about 30 minutes away. So I had to drive there at 5.15 this morning to go pick up my friend Kat. So then by the time I got back in my car, um, it was like 9.30 and then I was like, okay, well I'm gonna go join this new gym. So then I got to the new gym at like 10 o'clock, joined the gym. Then I had a dentist appointment at 11.30, so I went home from the gym and then I like made quick little breakfast. Still didn't get my camera at this point. Um, then I just went to the dentist and then I had to go to the post office right after that because my locks, like I have to like switch a bunch of shit on my mailbox. It's like super weird, like weird stuff's going on right now. So I had to switch a whole bunch of stuff in the post office with my mail. And now I just went to my dad's house to go pick up the camera and it's one o'clock. And that's my day and now you're caught up to everything. And now I have to go home, edit this vlog that you guys are watching, upload that. And then I have to go to spin because I teach spin tonight at five o'clock. And then I'm taking class at six and then I'm taking bar at seven. And my calves are on fire. Like I don't know what is up with my calves, but they are so sore. Yeah, that was such a long, ending to this vlog but like I just wanted to catch you guys up and let you guys know like why I didn't vlog and the crazy past 24 hours that I had. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope this helped you out in some way for meal prepping. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys want to see. Whether it's fitness, makeup, beauty, fashion, whatever it is, lifestyle, I don't care. Just to let me know I'm down to please. Um, but yeah, love you guys so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.